Okay, let's look at this limit. The limit when t approaches to zero, we have one over t times the square root of t plus one minus one over t. And let's just plug in zero into all the t's to see what we get. In the first fraction right here, plugging zero into the t, we'll get one over, well, zero times anything is going to be zero. Right, zero times one, we have zero on the bottom. And then minus, 1 and 0 into t, we have 1 over 0 as well. 1 over 0, you get infinity, and then minus 1 over 0, you also end up with infinity. Infinity minus infinity, we cannot make any conclusion. This right here is also an, an indeterminate form. In another word, we have to do more work. Okay, so this is just a quick check. Now, we have two fractions, they are subtracting. To subtract fractions, let's get a common denominator put into just one fraction to see what else we can do after that. The denominator for the first one is t times square root of t plus 1. The denominator for the second fraction is just a t. So for the second one, let me multiply by square root of t plus 1 on the bottom and also on the top. And this way they will have the same denominator and can put them together. So this is going to be the limit when t approach to zero and they will have the same denominator now, which is t square root of t plus one and on the top is one minus one times square root of t plus one, which is minus square root of t plus one. And if we plug in zero into all the t's, we are going to end up with zero on the top and zero on the bottom. So, in this case, let's see. I have one minus a square root. Let me multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the top. Namely, I'm going to multiply out the top with one plus square root of t plus one. And I will multiply out the bottom with the same thing as well, 1 plus square root of t plus 1. Okay. And let's see what we get after we multiply this out. This is still going to be the limit when t approach to 0. I'm trying to fix the top. And the top is in the form a minus b times a plus b. And we can use this formula because that will be a squared minus b squared. To multiply out the top, I just need to look at 1 and square that, which is going to be 1. So I have 1 right here. And I'm going to minus the second thing, square. But this is a square root. When I square a square root, the, they cancel each other out. And I will have to put a parenthesis though because this is a subtraction. So let me use a parenthesis right here. I will have the inside t plus 1. On the denominator, I didn't want to fix that, so let me just keep it as how it is. And I will have t times square root of t plus 1 times this, which is 1 plus square root of t plus 1. Okay? So once again, this is after you multiply out the top, you have 1 minus, use a parenthesis though, when you square a square root, you just have t plus 1 but put them in the square uh, put them in the parentheses. And now we can somehow simplify the top, right? Because this is going to be the same as 1 minus t and then minus times a plus is a minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Right? So you can cancel out the 1s and the minus 1 together. And let me rewrite this right here. This is the limit when t approach to 0. Here I have the t, well, it's a minus t right here. But notice that we also have the t right here. I can cancel them out. Cancel this out, cancel that out. This is a negative one left on top. Over that as the denominator. Square root of t plus one. And you multiply that with one plus square root of t plus one. Okay. Final step, plugging zero into all the t's, and let me just show you right here with my work, 
I have an XT1 on the top over plugging zero in here. Let me just write down the word for you: zero plus one in the square root, and you multiply with one plus square root of zero into t, and then plus one. This is going to be negative one on the top. This is just a one. And inside of the parentheses, you have one plus one, right? Because square root of one is one. Do the calculations. At the end, you'll get negative one and a two on the denominator. Negative one half for the answer. So make sure that you know how to do the simplifications. And that's the answer.